New Yorkers are an impatient breed, but there's one thing that they're willing to wait almost four hours in line to see. We're going to check it out today. Head down to Battery Park City and you'll be stunned, not by the breathtaking view, but by the line for New York's hottest pop-up attraction. The Museum of Feelings takes feelings and turns them into art. It's been called the mood ring of the city, and New Yorkers are in the mood to see it. But just how long are they expecting to wait? At least another three hours. Maybe two or three hours. Well, hopefully less than an hour, but my friend told me that like her friend waited for four hours in line. Lucky for us, we got to start the feeling experience right away. So now we are heading in to Joyful. I have these 3D glasses, and in there it's inspired by balsam and fur. That's what it's smelling like. So I'm going to go check out this virtual forest. Let's do it. Whoa! I have to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm in a sea anemone. It is, it is so beautiful. This is the coolest forest I think I've ever been to. There's something very relaxing about this smell, and I'm getting into the emotion of joy with the smell. So it's really, it's funny how they're interchangeable. Oh, this is awesome. I need to go explore more. All right, so I thought I could ditch these going into the next room, but that's not the case. Headed into Invigorated now, and let's see what's going to happen. It's time to say hello to Invigorated. In this room, visitors are surrounded by a colorful moving halo that can be seen in 3D. It responds to each person's motion and speed as they move around the room and leads them to scent markers. So I've had a halo of a good time in here, and now it's time to go check out what's next. Don't know if I'll be needing these, but we'll find out. So here we are in Exhilarated, and this is a kaleidoscope. And when you touch the kaleidoscope in the center, it controls the scent, which is peony and cherry. I'm already loving it because it looks beautiful and pink in there. Let's head inside. Wow, this is kaleidoscope with a whole new way of looking at it. I mean, I can see that when I move my fingers, that the flowers bloom, and as a result, the smell blooms as well. I'm, I'm amazed. This is an incredible expression. I need a room like this in my house after a long day. The emotion here is calm, and they have lavender and vanilla being pumped out for the scent. You can hear the music, it's a very nice experience. Also, the ground is very soft with some light carpeting on it, so I'm feeling very cool and serene before I head back to the city. I like the idea of it being a museum of feelings and the idea that it's in New York and New York City is considered a cold city and everything like that, so I thought it was cool. Well, I actually find it fascinating that you can actually associate sense with feelings and this is the first time I've actually seen feelings visualized. Uh, I really liked it. I really liked it. I like the kaleidoscope and I think this might be my favorite room though because it's all hazy. Now that we're getting toward the end of the museum, I have to ask, was it worth the wait? Definitely, definitely, definitely. It's fascinating that it's worth the two hour wait. Yeah, I mean, you're never gonna experience this ever again. This is once in, I mean, hopefully not once in a lifetime, but I could say that I was one of the few people that got to see it when it was here. What better way to get to know your selfie and your feelings than with a selfie? The mood lens creates a picture based on feelings. Time for me to find out mine. Joyful, you don't say, really? As we've seen at the Museum of Feelings, New Yorkers will jump at the opportunity, or in this case, wait, to experience something out of the box. 
And while New York is home to so many different people, each of their feelings add to this already colorful city. Reporting from New York, I'm Christy Clements. Oh, 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 oh,